In this lesson, we're going to begin to uh, lay out the drive system, and there's a, a tank right here that drives these pistons inside, and that makes the wheels rotate. So what we're going to do first is, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to build this pink section. Um, you can see it pretty good in the front view, uh, view of the blueprint. So let's go to left, zoom in. There we go. And let's um, really quickly, let's get a line tool. And let's assume for now that somewhere around here is where the boiler shape is. So what I want to do is click here, pull out, use the bezier. So I'm clicking and dragging without letting go. I'm going to release. I'm going to click again, come down, come across. I'm going to come up to here. I'm going to click. And now I'm going to do a click and drag again. Hold down the left button as you drag. I am going to come up. And now I'm going to come out this way. I'm going to try to match this curve up here. We're going to try to conform it to the shape of the boiler a bit. Click again. Close that off. Say yes. We can make some adjustments right now. Just so things look a little better, we're going to tweak this out a little. Click on that up and down, the Y handle, and now you can move the bezier handles along that axis. Let's do the same here. Let's pull this vert more in the center between this one and this one move it up a little bit, click on the handle and do that right there looks better right here we're going to make that a bezier corner click on the up handle, the Y just pull that out a little bit, okay that looks good now what we're going to do, move this a touch more click on that handle Maybe shorten these handles a bit too, I think they're having too much influence let's click on the y-axis again. That's better. Pull this down touch. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a rectangle right here and we're going to make it conform into that shape by using um, fillet again because I'm finding that it's easier on certain shapes to use um, corners and then just use the fillet. So I'm just dragging out a rectangle that roughly encompasses this pink shape, the pink shape right here. I'm going to let go. Uh, convert to edible spline by right-clicking on the name. Okay, and now we're going to grab the top two vertices. We're going to fillet, just like that. Keep going till the, the two center points become one, and they are still two. So what we need to do now is select those two points, fuse and weld. Now we're going to come back to the bottom. We're going to fillet again, select the two center points again, fuse and weld. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to attach this entire spline to the spline we just created. That's like a mounting bracket. Let's continue with the, uh, the drive system. We're now going to take those splines we created earlier and we're going to do some spline booleans and clean this up a little bit. So what we want to do, I'm going to grab this vert, move it out this way a little bit, maybe up to around there. And now we want to go to spline, select this spline, Let's go to Spline Booleans, Attach, Union. There we go. Union it with this one, just like that. Let's see. Might be able to delete this vert. That looks better. Okay. Let's come in here. And we're going to fillet this vert. It might be two there. Let's see doesn't work right and you're not expecting something's not working as expected then just take a look see what you have now we have a single vert and we'll go in here and we'll fillet now there we go that looks a little better and I think we're gonna fillet this slightly too just a small value Let's see if I get a good. Let's undo that. Let's get rid of this vert and see if we can. No. Let's make this a bezier. And let's do some adjustments to the handle. Again, I'm improvising. If something doesn't work as expected, I'm going to try a few different options before I give up on it. Let's undo that. Okay. Um, 
Let's do an extrusion. We can always add this with an edit poly later. Let's go to perspective. Let's take this piece and let's drag it out. Rotate it. Uh, R for rotate, uh, E for rotate, I'm sorry. Make sure your angle snaps are active. Rotate 90 degrees. Let's pull this back this way a little bit. And if we go to left viewport, we want to align this either with the front or the back of the, the pink section, just like that. Let's also check to see how it lines up with the boiler. And it's not so good, so what we're going to do is select the boiler, hide unselected. We have both selected when we hide everything else. And we'll tweak this out a little bit as well. So let's grab these points. We grab that whole section right there. Just pull it back a little bit. Now I'm going to do is deselect this group right here. F3. Pull this back out. I can see that one. As long as we can see them close to the surface, then we have an idea of where they are. We're good. I'm going to deselect this one. Let's take that last vert and just pull it down. Okay, pull this one down a little bit and click on that handle. We can adjust the bezier just like that. That looks good. I think this should come down a bit more. It's no longer consistent. It's acting a little funny. I'm going to make it bezier. And just adjust these handles. I'm clicking on the, uh, the X. Let's click this one. Click on X again. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. You can finesse it more, I think. It feels like it should though, it's not bad. And now we're gonna add an extrude, so go to the modifier list, extrude. There we go. Um, let's go to left viewport, unhide all. You can say no right there, zoom in. Back over here and let's give it an amount to that extrude. So we're gonna come back this way, just like that. Let's go to perspective and see how that looks. Looks pretty good. I think if we go to shift and B, that's the back view part. I think this should all come to the center. I think there's two halves, it seems like, in the reference. I'm not 100% sure of that, so let's do this. Bring this point right to the midpoint, just like that. Let's do the same here. And again, we may need to adjust these curves now that we're doing some modifying, but that's okay. Shift that down, just like that. Go to perspective. F3. And let's go back up to the extrude and see how it looks now. Unhide everything. Unhide all. Uh, no. There we go. Okay, so it's a little bit off. We can still adjust these points. Let's leave, go down here and toggle on show end result. Go to vertex. Let's just pull this down. F4 so you can see the wire if you want to. Okay, let's say we bring this one way over here. So it's kind of midway between the top, the two points here, this point and this point. And let's adjust the bezier a little bit, just like that. Nudge that point up a little bit more. Okay, let's take a look at that. F4, it doesn't look bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we talked about this earlier, we're gonna add editable poly. I'm going to go to Edge. What I'm going to do is Alt-Q. Let's isolate that a little bit so I can see what we're doing better. Let's grab some of these. I'm going to get rid of a few of these. And we're going to come up here. Go to Graphite Modeling Tools, roll out the uh, tab right there. And we're going to remove some of those edges. So uh, Control and click on the Remove button below Edges. Just like that. Let's select this corner. What we want to do now is uh, chamfer that edge. So let's get the chamfer tool right here. And let's add some segments. That looks good. I'm going to say OK. F4, let's see how it looks. You have that artifact there. It's not a problem. Smooth modifier on top. Auto smooth. You can play with that value a bit if you want. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Let's come in here now. Let's above this edit poly add another one. So go in your modifier list, edit poly. Let's select the front and the rear polygon, just like that. And then let's roll up here to selection. We're going to control and click on edge to convert that selection to an edge. 
and chamfer. That's a big value. It's too big for what I want to do. I'm going to right click it out. And I'm just going to do a little chamfer like that. And give it two. Let's keep it at one. Check for OK. Let's go back out. Turn F4. OK, that looks good. So now let's unhide all our exit isolation. Zoom in, P, Z. We still select the, uh, the new section we built. Get a good look at it. And that looks pretty good. So now in the next uh, video, what I'm going to do is add some of the details that go on there. There's a front and end cap, some bolts, and then um, along the side we have a couple bolts and we have this little rod that hangs below. So in the next video, we'll pick up where we left off.